International worship leader Michael Stample has been the mainstay of gospel music. He continues his legacy of life-changing music with his latest project, To the King, Vertical Worship. Michael, welcome to the program. Thank you, sir. It's great to see you and finally get you here. I mean, yeah. I've only been doing this program for like seven years. It's taken that long to get you here, and you're it's supposed to be my long. friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been. We've yeah. known each other for what? 10, 12 years it's now. Been, it's been, I mean, it's been much longer than my first son, and it's because of you and your wife mm -hmm. that we homeschooled. Come my on. first son. I We've mean, recruited a lot of people it, to well, homeschool. We should be paying you royalties, man. Yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> so let, let's you can start write that there. check after this. Amen. Amen. <laughs> the prophet's offering. <laughs> let, let's start there because most of us, we, we know you for your music. Uh -huh. uh, and, and that's what we want. We want Michael's great voice that would rip the place up. I mean, <laughs> as Benny Hinn had you for years, just ripping the place Mike, up. Mike, uh, calm. <laughs> <laughs> but I know that a big uh, influence in your music is mm -hmm. your family because I've heard you talk about in the home yeah it's just music there's just sounds uh, tell us a bit about the 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 background for you as far as the family goes because you homeschool yeah so it's not it's not it's not usual uh, you travel with your children yeah from not not all the time but yeah they they do you know get an opportunity to to get on the road with us uh, from time to time how yeah. does that inspire the sort of music you're able to do. I mean, it's God's music, of course, mm -hmm. but surely something of the family must be seeping through there. You know, you know, my children, uh, they're extremely musical, and you can hear them making up melodies, and, and then uh, Michael will start, and then Adam will start harmonizing, and then they, they will all just kind of get in there. Mm -hmm. And it, that's how I grew up, you know, right, a very right. musical family. I'm the fifth out of nine. Um, a biological and one adopted brother, and uh, I'm the youngest boy. And so we were all very, very musical, very musical family. Um, most of my first cousins um, are, are, are very musical producers, writers, actors. Um, Nathaniel, uh, my cousin Nathaniel, uh, my family has a, a, a track record of, of repeating names. My, right. my father has a brother named Nathaniel, and my dad named his son after his brother, and his brother had his own son and named him Nathaniel, so right. it's like crazy. <laughs> but Nate Jr. and I actually started singing together as children. Mm -hmm. His mom taught us harmonies. He went on to be a uh, leading role in, on Broadway in The Lion King oh, wow. as Mufasa. And, um, and then I became a recording artist. But I, the music, it just, it's all through the family. So Now you talk about the family and you, you talk about mm -hmm. it in such a nice, uh, almost romantic tones, but there have been moments of tragedy Absolutely. because of the brothers. Uh, you, you've lost a few. Yes. Sir. Um, what have you done with, because surely you must have had moments um, of not just uh, heartbreak, but fear where you think, okay, What's what's happening with me? What's uh -huh. happening with my body? You know, yeah. what do you do with those? Do do you ever have them? And what do you do with those? You know, the the thing is, um, I'm a I'm a PK, and a lot of times, you know, uh, pastors' kids have this stereotype of us being the worst ones. But sometimes, mm -hmm. um, we always get the short end of the stick, especially when you're a pastor's kid because your parents have ministry going on and they, they don't necessarily know everything that's going on in their household, mm -hmm. which is their first ministry. Right. So it's very important that pastors who are watching this understand that your household is your first ministry and be sure that you take care of the, your children, know what they're doing, the, thing, the things they're struggling with because our parents didn't have a clue. Right. So I lost um, my brother Robert in 1992. He was murdered, shot six times. Um, we lost Nate um, um, two years later. Um, oldest brother, I haven't seen him since Nate's funeral, 1994, disappeared. Um, my brother, who is alive, <laughs> he's incarcerated. All of my mom's brothers are, 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 have, are deceased and their sons. So I'm literally the only one left. So yeah, it's a lot of tragedy, a lot of pain. But when I tell you that I have never experienced the mercy, the peace and grace of God mm -hmm. um, 
on my, I mean, it's just been absolutely amazing to see the healing process, the journey. And yeah, it does get lonely when you need that brotherly, you know, connection. Mm. And I have all my sisters there, but it's something about having that brother. Right, yeah. yeah. But you know, it, it's interesting because when you, when you're, you're, you've got this new album and mm -hmm. as a musician, there's the promotional side of it that yeah. you have to do, yeah. get on the road and sing. But uh, when you're actually singing and you're doing your stuff and hitting those high notes, uh -huh. um, those, I'm, I'm guessing now, mm -hmm. knowing your story, knowing, knowing you for a while, it's not about cheerleading. For you, it's something of a... It's a, deeper. That's, please tell us a bit about that, it's because, a, I mean, I invite Micah Stampley. I want the <laughs> big song. I want you to just rouse the crowd right. for me and yeah. just get them going for me. Come yeah. on, Micah. <laughs> and, and the thing is, I'm glad you say that, because a lot of people, oh, your ministry is, you're so intense. But there is a story behind the intensity. Mm. Um, there is a passion behind what I do every note that comes out of my mouth, the body movements, and I'm, I'm very, very uh, jubilant. <laughs> I was very, you know, controlled. I'll be kind of controlled on the set, but, uh, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's um, the story there. there I have a gratitude and uh, for life, mm -hmm. just for life, being able to uh, be among the land of the living. Amen. Uh, yeah. On this album, you, you sing, sometimes you sing in different languages. Yeah. Uh, why and what was it like learning the languages? It just happened. It's just something that happened, the song, Be Lifted, that I'll minister. Don't yeah. say that. You're supposed to say something deep so I can then go and, <laughs> and learn languages. My, it's work for Micah Stampley this way. Let me go and The do Holy it. Spirit <laughs> just gave me the interpretation. I started singing. <laughs> No, it didn't happen like that. I actually asked someone to translate the Spanish version for me mm -hmm. and um, of Be Lifted. And then, you know, I'm, um, my father, um, my adopted father, uh, His Majesty King Adamte from Ghana, West Africa, uh, our native, native language, Dangbi, I actually mm -hmm. sing it uh, on that song as well. So it just kind of took on this, this uh, international global feel. But Heidi wrote the song. Right. I just kind of like dug in it. And uh, now a lot of people don't know your, your your wife, even though she she runs the business, which she mm -hmm. looks after you. She's also an incredible songwriter. Oh yeah. Uh, but let me let me skip to the international parts because uh, you're seen in the Caribbean and in here in America. You're mm -hmm. loved. And, but you have some sort of connection with Africa. We, yeah. we can't get enough of you. And then you trace <laughs> your, your tree back to Africa. Uh -huh. Tell us a bit about that. Yeah, uh, and, and not just Africa, but uh, Hebrew. Yeah, um, it, it, it's interesting. Um, I was legally adopted by a king. Um, uh, His Majesty, a lot of people know him as Dr. Kingsley Fletcher. And um, <clears throat> he didn't have any biological sons, two, bio two biological daughters, Princess Anna, Princess uh, Damaris, and then I'm the oldest out of the, the, the four. And then there's Delon, who's another brother. Um, and uh, that connection is just a God thing. But here's an interesting thing. My Uncle Nathaniel performed my wedding, Heidi and our wedding, and he performed a traditional Ghanaian wedding. No way. Yeah. And if you this look before him, you knew before him. I even met him, wow, before I even met him. So just the steps, God was, <laughs> God had ordered my steps Man. even before I met him. I tell you so. what, we, we're, we're out of time, Micah, <laughs> and, and they, they're telling me to wind up and go forward. So maybe we might get some more on Facebook. But for your new record, <clears throat> one, one question for me mm -hmm. very quickly, your new record, what one word would you say is what you want me to experience when I listen to your new record? It's a, it's a vertical experience. Vertical. It's vertical. To the king, vertical worship. Worship does not include us. It's all about him. It's for him and him only. Michael, thank you so much. Thank you, man. Another seven years, eh? Yeah. <laughs>